So, about a year ago, I made a video on how to achieve Daft Punk style vocoder vocals using the Electrics Warp Factory. And if I'm being honest, I didn't know as much as I do now about the true differences between the Digitech Talker and the Warp Factory. Plus, it was a bit more convoluted than it needed to be. So today, I'm here to make an updated video on how to achieve this sound. First, let me explain why I use the Electrix Warp Factory instead of just buying a Digitech Talker. Aside from people taking advantage of Daft Punk's departure, pricing these things for almost $2,000 on sites like Reverb or eBay, IVL Technologies, the company behind the Talker, also produced the Warp Factory. These two vocoders have the exact same DSP technology, with the main difference being the interface and the Warp Factory having more control over the Digitech. Oh, also it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. On the Talker, the Nuvo preset is the exact same as the Warp Factory set to S on, Formant set to 12 o'clock, and the Q and order knobs set to zero. In order to replicate the Talkbox preset, you simply set the Warp Factory to S off and turn the Formant down by two semitones. The only thing the Warp Factory can't natively replicate is the EQ applied to the Talkbox preset on the Talker, which looks something like this. It mainly consists of a 6 dB octave low cut at 738 Hz, and a 10 decibel dip at 9090 Hz. This is how the Warp Factory sounds without the EQ. This is how the Warp Factory sounds with the EQ. Now of course, it's recommended that you use additional EQ to make the vocoder fit better in the track that you're mixing. But aside from that, this is how you get the Digitech sound from the Warp Factory. If you also own a Warp Factory and you'd like to try the EQ out yourself, I put a link down in the description below where you can download the FabFilter Pro Q3 preset. Anyway, that's it for now.